My name is Eike Weber and I'm director of the Fraunhofer Institute for Solar Energy Systems in Freiburg, Germany. As a matter of fact, I took this role in 2006 after spending 23 years in the United States at the University of California in Berkeley, where I worked in the Department of Material Science. Since I am in Freiburg, um, the institute there was able to grow from about 500 people working there in 2006 to now 1,300 people because uh, we are able to or we have to attract our own funding and if you have to collect the money yourself then of course if it's in the right time and if it's a successful economic surrounding the institute can grow as we did. But from the 1300 members of staff, about half of them are students, so we have only 550 full-time scientists. The topic of renewable energies and the bigger topic of the transformation of the energy system to the efficient use of renewable energies is a topic of very high importance and I think EUREC as a very well-established long-standing organization uh, should have a very vocal role in policy makings in Brussels uh, to influence the European Union as well as of course as a European organization to influence what happens in the individual member states. So basically uh, I decided to be a candidate for your presidency because I thought I would like to do whatever I can in order to make sure that the voice of renewable energy research institutions who are the core members of Europe is really heard in Brussels. And I'm sure uh, the office which we have is a very professional staffed office. We have a very able general secretary and policy advisors and uh, I think it is possible in this way to bundle the joint expertise of the renewable energy research and to uh, team up together with industry which is uh, working in this field in order to make sure that our interests on the European level are met by the Commission. In the past, the renewable energies were looked at quite favorable as long as they did not yet make any economic impact. But now renewable energies start to be a very important force. And this means we as well wake up forces against the renewable energies. Forces coming, for instance, from the nuclear sector or from the sector of the coal-fired power plants. And therefore, it is important to really uh, stand against it and I think there is one more very important issue and this is the issue of economic opportunities. The transformation process of the whole world towards renewable energy will be an enormous economic opportunities for those nations, for those industry and of course for an uh, entity like Europe to really ride on the crest of the wave in order to really make sure that technologies which we have developed here in Europe and European research is excellent in this field is are really uh, translated into industry, into jobs and I think this is a central task of what EUREC should support. I do like challenges because you know if you are only dealing with things which are easy it's boring and I think it is a big challenge but I think the boundary conditions are very interesting because generally speaking the population everywhere is very much in favor of renewable energies but of course there are very very massive industry interests from certain circles against it. I think EUREC is a unique organization as it is really broadly based for research institutions which work in all the areas of research uh, which is needed for the transformation of the energy system. And of course having this broad research base means inside EUREC is as well the know-how and is as well the uh, uh, expertise on where technologies are going, what we can expect in the coming years and I think this should be combined with the voice of the industry in order to really impress on the European policymakers in the Commission, in the Parliament, that for Europe as a whole, this development of the transformation of the energy system is an enormous economic opportunity. That is really the main message coming from both the research institutions as well as industry. 
Honestly speaking, I think uh, at the moment, uh, from my personal opinion, we have only about half of the research institutions which should be members. And I really believe that all research institutions working in the renewable energy and en energy efficiency fields in Europe should really feel the added benefit they get from being a EURIC member, being part of the information flow, getting weekly uh, updates and newsletters as well as getting in contact with the policy makers here in Brussels because the Europe, EURIC office is very well connected to the policy makers in the Commission as well as in the European Parliament and I think with EURIC membership uh, every institution can have this direct access so I really would like to invite all institutions which are not yet members of EURIC to come contact us in the office here in Brussels and consider to become a member. At the moment we have in Europe a, a certain lack of representation of uh, industry we do have uh, at the energy technology platforms which are combining industry and research and I think this uh, uh, this ETPs are at the moment working independent from each other and I believe that EUREC can play a very interesting role in being the facilitator to bundle the voices of the interested industry as well as of course the research uh, voice which is automatically coming with EUREC in order to be able to present to the Commission, to the process of developing the set plan further, which is the underlying plan for the European Commission's uh, plans in renewable energy, and to serve as a partner in these discussions. My hope would be that under my presidency as EUREC president, I can make sure that the voice of the interested parties, the research institutions, the industry, stakeholders who are interested in uh, as well setting standards and rules and regulations, recognize EUREC as a central partner in these discussions, as a partner which, who is constructive, who doesn't have an own opinion besides the opinion that we are working for the transformation of the energy system but in principle of course we are neutral in terms of technology evaluations and all of these things but we can provide the right expertise because the expertise is in Europe. So my hope that my presidency will be remembered as having a developed a much stronger voice than Europe had in the past and being really the key partner of the Commission in any question which involves renewable energy, energy efficiency and the big tasks, the transformation of the energy system.